welcome to a brand new video welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new myself and my mum are just about to set off to the airport to go to south africa i've been talking about it for a while now so i'm sure most of you are aware that we are going first couple of weeks of january and we're meeting tom and his mum out there they flew a week ago from manchester so we're gonna meet them out there we're staying at a place called the president hotel I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We've got a long journey ahead of us. We've got three hours to get to the airport. Then we've got an 11 hour flight, three hour wait at the airport. So it's going to be tomorrow morning that we get there. And by the time that we're actually flying, we're flying New Year's Eve. So I thought I would do a fun little come to the airport with us vlog. The airport we're going to is London Heathrow, Terminal 3, which has some really good shops it's got louis vuitton gucci joe malone so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping flight isn't until the evening we'll be toasting new year's in the sky so anyway we are setting off now we'll meet you in a few hours time when we get to london heathrow about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. So we need to go to WH Smith for books, magazines, snacks, boots over there and I may have made a little purchase which I will show you later. You guys know I'm a puzzler so I'm definitely going to be getting, I can't even see, they've got this crate thing in the way, I'm going to be getting one of these for the flight and for holiday probably to last me. Oh there's a winter special down there, 2020, I might get that one. Um, I usually get one with a free pen, but I have brought a pen with me today. This is a recent read of ours that we had in book club. It's called The Familiars, and it's actually set from where we live. Um, it's actually quite good. I've heard that Tattooist of Auschwitz is good. And then I've asked for your recommendations. What was the name of that one that I said? A girl. Something in a window? A girl in the window. The woman in the window. Let's see if they have that, because that looked good. Okay, we are finally pit stopping. My bags are so heavy. I was like, Mum, I need to just sit down now. But, we've done some shopping, and we're actually only 10 minutes away from finding out our gate. And then we'll soon be boarding. So, pretty speedy. Um, we've got some snacks for before the plane. I've got some barbecue pop chips, and I've got some chicken and bacon Caesar wrap and a pizza. And then the book that you guys recommended that I wanted to get, they actually don't have it here. I went to two different places, they don't have it. So I went for The Family Upstairs. Let me know if any of you have read it. It's like thriller, one house, two families, three bodies. In a large house in London's fashionable Chelsea, a baby is awake in her cot. Well fed and cared for, she's happily waiting for someone to pick her up. In the kitchen lie three decomposing corpses. Close to them is a hastily scrawled note. They've been dead for several days, so who's been looking after the baby and where did they go? And then I got my puzzler book, standard. Mum, are you ready for the flight? 
Uh, yes, ready as well as Oh gosh, my arms are aching. Any oh, any more purchases to make? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, well, we're all set then, because we get food and drink on the flight. I wonder if it says, oh, I can see our flight. The gate opens at, yeah, 8.30. Right, so I'm gonna have my snacks, and then we'll be on. I also have another new addition which I forgot to show you guys and it is my new AirPods which are incredible. Tom has the um, the first generation ones and they are good but he's saying if the noise cancelling is worth the upgrade and personally I think it is. They are so incredible. You can literally go from transparency mode where you hear all the outside world and then click noise cancelling and it just literally silences everything it's amazing so I'm gonna be testing these out on the flight because obviously airplanes are usually quite loud and will report back but yeah I'm excited to give these a try today first time <laughs> Do something entertaining. Oh. <laughs> we are quite competitive. Look how dirty my face looks. Oh, I had a spray tan before I came, hence why the dirty face. I have wash. It's not dirty. I'm just, just justifying it. Um, but at least I'm going to go with a bit of a colour, a bit of a tan. Which, we're only there for two, well, 12 days in total, of which it is a little bit cloudy some days. Not boarding yet. Um, so I thought I would get myself a little spray tan before I go, so I'm already tanned from when I get there. And apparently you still tan through spray tan, so... Fingers crossed that works because I need to get a bit more bronze. Do I get that from Dad or you? So. Being pale naturally. Yeah. Dad, you tan quite easily. George does. It takes me a while to build a tan and then when I get home, I lose it in a week. So I think, well, what's the point? Put a spray tan on, protect your skin. No. Or non fake tan. Like your Nana's fair, yeah. sewers. Yeah. Your dad. So that's where I get it from. Thanks, Dad. Um, what's our on-flight skincare routine? What have you bought? Anything? I've got some eye cream, some moisturizer, lip balm. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Have you not got anything to like? I saw you put some cotton pads or something in. I did, but I've forgotten the cleanser. The actual you got cleanser. Something. No, I was gonna splash my face with water, dry it off, and then do eye cream. I didn't bring any face masks with me or anything. I was gonna bring a sheet mask. I or eye, under eye mask. But I have got my silk. Um, let me get it. It's New Year's Eve. We'll just get. We'll just have lots to drink and then. That's never gonna have <laughs> sleep and not be bothered. Lots to drink. It's New Year's Eve. I'm not having anything to drink. We won't give a hoot. I won't have a diet coke, so I won't keep my this. My slip silk mask. Oh, I've packed a silk mask. Yeah, so we've got matching. Mum's got one from White Company. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to sleep, let's be honest. I never sleep on flights.
have landed. Oh, we toasted Happy New Year in the sky, didn't we? We had a countdown. We wondered what they were going to do. No champagne, just a countdown, wasn't it? Yes. But we're happy that as soon as the countdown was on, we then tried to get some sleep. I think we snoozed for about five hours, but didn't properly sleep, so it's hot. It's so hot. So we're going to find our airport, not airport transfer. Oh, yeah. Airport hotel transfer. Oh, look at that plane coming to land. And then we head to the hotel and then let Tom know that we're here and his mum and maybe see the sunshine. It is so sunny. I've got a, I've got a really young Perfect. Lovely. We've just, well, just checked in, but our room's not ready until two, and it's now one-ish. Yeah, nearly one. So um, we're gonna check in in an hour and grab a bite to eat first. Our view is the swimming pool, the sea, the sun. It's amazing. We've got changed into summer dresses because it is hot, hair is up. And then when we check in, I'll show you the room, but I'll also show you my new little purchase, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so I'll show you that when uh, we get to the room, but for now, this is the menu we're looking at. I've ordered a nice ice cold Diet Coke. Ice and lemon. Living the life. Happy mum. Happy to be in the sun. Oh, South gosh, yeah, yeah. So this is our room. We have a little kitchenette station here, wardrobe. We have our bathroom. And then we have this room, which actually We've booked a twin, so they separate these beds. It is a du duo bread. <laughs> bread? bed, so they're going to split them for us. And this is our room for the foreseeable future, for the next two weeks. An amazing view because we have Lion's Head Mountain up here, which I think me and Tom are going to hike up one day. And then we have the sea view just about over there, which is amazing. And we also have this in the room, which I thought was really cute. We've got a little bottle of red, no, white wine. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a wine drinker. And then what's this? Ooh, hand decorated wreath shaped gingerbread biscuits. <gasps> How nice is that? A full tin of gingerbread biscuits and some nougat. And it's a happy new year's celebratory uh, message note thing that they left us, which I thought was so kind of them so thank you to the president hotel <gasps> ah, the big reveal of the new bag it was a little bit of an impulse purchase but at the same time i did go with the intent of potentially treating myself last year i did it with my ysl bag and i've just decided that kind of like to invest more in designer pieces that are just going to last me forever so this is a birthday and christmas present from me to me and i'm so happy to have and own my first ever Chanel bag. Now, I did want my next bag to be a black one, so I did look in Louis Vuitton. I looked in Gucci, and then lastly, I went to Chanel, and I saw this, and I was like, I picked up straight away, and I said, can I try this on? And I was just sold. I did try a couple of other similar, but the one that I saw first was the best for me. So, it is 2019 season oh my god look how nice she's packaged this um pre she was cool she was lovely at heathrow terminal three if ever you go ask for pre she's lovely um and it is yeah 2019 season it's called a, a it's like a camera case style bag oh we've got a little tote bag in there oh my god it's wrapped up again you've got the authenticity card and everything in there so this is what it looks like I love the size of it. It fits really nice. It's a perfect size to fit, which is called a camera case, but my camera in and my phone and then my little coin purse, which I have. So this is my new Chanel bag. I'm so happy with it. I love it. And it's a really good length to wear crossbody. It also has the little CC charm here on the strap. If I can find the exact one to this, I'll link it below, but because it is airport, it was duty free. It is old last year's season now that we're in 2020 
So um, it probably won't be on Chanel's website, but if I can find it, I will leave it linked. But yeah, I got 500 pounds off of it, pretty much, just under. So I think I got myself a good deal um, because you're flying outside of EU, you do get the VAT off. Is that right? But EU flights, you have to pay full price. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, because then you'd see the full price, then you'd see the discount price and say, where are you flying to, madam? Um, Paris. Oh, yes, you're going to have to pay the top price. But anyway, I love it. Really happy. I need name suggestions. I've got my YSL Lulu, which is just Lulu. My Louis Vuitton, which is just Louis. So I thought maybe Coco? CC? We'll see. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. I will be doing a full South Africa vlog, so stay tuned for that. I will also be doing a full day vlogging on my birthday because that is in a couple of days time. So I'm going to keep that as one separate vlog and then do a South Africa vlog. So plenty of content to come. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. I'll also leave my Instagram handles down below if you want to keep up to date with everything going on whilst I am here. Then be sure to follow me over on there. It is Freya Farrington 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.